everyone. Well, you all loved my last robot review, so I did my best, and today I have another one for you, the Ganker X. It's pretty cool, and there's no point in talking about it until you can see it. So let's unbox it and put it together. Looks pretty cool, and the packaging is all in English. Um, I think it's specifically for the overseas market. Now let's unbox it. Ah, they have the assembly picture all in there. Perfect. So this is the armor. Let's lay it down one by one so you can see. This is the main frame. USB cable. And I think this is also a part of the armor. Better. All right, that's it. What makes the Ganger X more than just another toy robot is how it's controlled. There are a few names for this technology. Teleoperation, telerobotics, remote manipulation. But in researching this, I came across an old name from an old sci-fi story. They called it a Wardle. And I think that's a good name. Here's how a Wardle works. When I move it, it moves. Same speed, same direction. There's still more though, the Ganger X comes with removable armor and weapons for combat with another Ganger. Let's put it on and try it out. The key to any combat is of course training, so let's put in a little training time.
So there are sensors in here, here, and here. If uh, somebody hit me or hit my robot, like this, the robot blinks and my control vibrates. So I know I got hit or how many times I got killed. I don't know. But um, I definitely need to add something else so that I could practice more and practice with something. This video is sponsored by Creality 3D, makers of the Ender 3 3D printer. Check the description box for more info. So, as you can see here, I've made a little mok yang zhong or wooden dummy. Let's try it out. probably seen a dummy a bit like this in Yip Man or another movie. My province, Guangdong, has what is known as the Five Family Elders, the Five Main Martial Arts Families. While I don't practice, the men in my family practice a splinter style of one of them. Wen Chen is the most famous one of the five styles, and this is the dummy they use. So this doesn't seem quite right. I sent a little video clip to my grandfather asking for advice and got back. Wrong dummy? After about an hour on the phone being scolded for not following the family traditions more closely and a promise to visit my grandmother more often, he sent me this sketch. Other Kung Fu styles often have their own dummies. And this is the dummy of Choi Lei Fat. It's called Ting Zhong. I found some better pictures online to base my design off. It has a big arm that moves. Grandfather is right. This is much closer to the robot. Okay, here it goes. There's the big arm which is counterbalance. So I will have to smash it out of the way. And I've combined it with another Choi Lei Fat dummy, the Sa Bao Zhong. I put ping pong balls in, in the center to practice hitting the robot sensor repeatedly. I have to dry the sore robot fist all the way for several times to deactivate my opponent's robot. And at the same time, keep them from blocking with their arms. This should let me practice that. Let's give it a try. Pretty cool, and I didn't even have to go train in a monastery for five years. I think I'm ready for my first robot fight. But first, I'll have to fight a victim. I mean, opponent. Stay tuned for robot on robot combat. If you would like to buy a ganker, this video is not sponsored and it has my full endorsement. That's it for today. I'll see you all next time. And remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.